guys, Sarah Pings here. Well, you know me. I'm a bit of an A5 girl. This is my uh, emerald green Finchley, which I've been using um, this term, which is now over. Um, <coughs> it's been working really well. Um, I've already done a kind of flip through of this, but I was using this for both, you know, kind of daily stuff, personal and uh, my teaching. And you know what? It was working. Uh, I felt that, I almost felt that I couldn't write my personal to-do list in here um, in case I left it in a classroom, in case anyone picked it up by mistake, all that kind of stuff. Not that I would ever leave it in a classroom and not that anyone would pick it up, but I just felt that I wasn't actually planning my life life as well as I was planning my teaching. But in the meantime, jingle, 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 now look. I'm not the kind of person who puts charms on their five bags. I'm really not. But I was decorating my yucca plant, because that's as far as I get with Christmas, um, with these bells. And I thought, oh, look! So, yeah. This is my spring green personal size um, phyllo. As you know, I've got an A5, which is currently on holiday. Um, the A5 was fine, but a little bit bag. I mean, very floppy. Um, I know everyone loves this about the Maldens, but I found that things were falling out of the pockets. I will be resurrecting him for my January term, probably, um, if I decide to go all matchy-matchy. Um, but as you know, I also have my spring green um, pocket that I was using as a wallet. So, uh, this is <coughs> where I had a bit of a dilemma, really, because I'm on holiday for a couple of weeks. Do I want to do my planning in here? No, because there's no room, um, and I can't write like a chipmunk. Do I want to use the A5? No, because psychologically, that's my teaching planner, and I don't want to be using it. So I thought... <sighs> Do you know what? I'm going to try, try, try again to use the personal planner. I don't really like the personal size. The rings annoy me. The whole size thing annoys me. That's why I never use them. Um, this I just couldn't resist buying when I bought it because it was the only spring green around for far and wide. As you can see, it's much more used. You can see the colour um, much more used than this lovely new one. But you know what? I love him. Um, and he did survive being left in a taxi. Um, and so I thought, well, um, I might use him a bit. So, this is my personal size by the facts as I'm using it at the moment. First thing I did was I used a plastic um, pocket. This is one of the... It's one of the Martha Stewart A5 ones actually, but I cut it down and I washi tape around the edges, left the pocket in here, and I've stuck in a, a really fab uh, little calendar. It goes 2014 up to June 2015. I'll put the link below for you. There's some really great, these are kind of for um, sticking on your monitor of your computer. But anyway, he fits perfectly in there. And then also, um, one of my resolutions for this year, I'm not buying any um, calendars or diaries, and I'm going to print as little as I possibly can. So I'm making do with what I've got. So what I have here, which I've had for absolute gazillion years, um, is this weekly notepad. Just take over. And it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I use them a bit for notes, but eh, haven't really been using it. Honestly, I've had this for so long. It was quite expensive. I think it was about eight, seven or eight pounds when I bought it. Um, and I thought, well, this is just getting wasted by not being used. So what I did was I have cut them down. I've cut Sunday off and I'm using um, the bottom part of Saturday for the Sunday per section and I've cut and punched them 
just got them holding them all together I've got until the end of March so far in here and I'm using it as a kind of weekly planner I've got morning got afternoon what more could you want really so there's my week and then here on the right hand side I'm doing my own daily pages um, so this is a combination of everything that I've got in my stash so I'm not actually buying or using anything new you have to excuse the colour um, ink so I'm using first of all the um, planet set and then I got the listed set well I bought them both together actually and there's the listed set yeah filthy sorry I feel I feel ashamed to be showing you, but anyway, it'll all come out with a bit of a wash. Um, but I've been stamping away, and I haven't had a chance to clean them off. So that, oh, combined with my little uh, spiral deck stickers that I had done ages and ages ago um, from moo.com I'll put the link below to moo um, you know you can get these little sticker books so I thought well I'll use these they're shiny so they're difficult to um, shade in with a normal kind of felt tip pen but the Coletto works brilliantly on them um, so what I've been doing is I've got the little hydrate I've got, I'll give you a blank page I think show it better i've got the hydrate icon without the word hydrate because i don't like it and it's pretty obvious what it is um, and then i've got using the little box um, stamp Comme ça. Uh, i'm using the box stamp there which just happens to fit um, some other um, printouts i've got of my spiral decks but also fits um, the little sticker version uh, the moo.com one <clears throat> and then I've got little sections. I've got a mail section, a call section, an urgent section, and two little uh, meal icons here. And then on the back of that page, I have some kind of uh, little just listing to do this stuff. So what I've found is that very often I don't get everything done, so I have to move stuff forward to the next day, which is a bit of a pain. Um, I kind of feel that I should be just using post-it notes but I quite like this daily page um, and what I did today is actually I did what I had to do on here um, and this was today's list and I didn't get any of this stuff done because I got my to-dos done over here. So all I've done is I've peeled off the spiral decks and I've kept it here because I'm trying to keep a track of how I'm using my time as well. Even when I'm on holiday, I want to see how I'm using it. Um, and then I printed off a whole load of little post-its with uh, my kind of cleaning schedule. Laundry, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, living room and floors. Um, and I'm keeping it on my today marker. And I'm marking them off as I do them because I really need to get into the habit of doing all of this um, all the time and I'm just a bit uh, just a bit lazy when it comes to cleaning um, but these are deep cleans these aren't kind of um, just your regular every day so I put the little date stamp here so now I've changed the 17th to the 18th so I can use this tomorrow and I've put in a bit of a plan for what I'm doing tomorrow I've got a few of these printed up and then I've made some clear dividers um, again they are pockets um, using these are the arc um, plastic folders a bit more a bit more rubbery feeling than the Martha Stewart and they're a bit more cloudy they're not quite as clear as Martha Martha's are lovely and bright um, but these are a little bit less bright anyway I've made some dividers and I've just used some washi tape um, that I got today actually from my good friend Lisa 1968 we did a bit of a swap and I just got my swap package today and there was this really fab um, washi tape in there which just goes so brilliantly with the spring green don't you know um, 
So then here I've got some, I've got my little brain stamp going on and these are notes that are going in. Um, this is to do with my electricity bill and then my council tax and then the list of things that are in the perfume I like. A bit of a recipe going on and some blanks. And then in this set, oh and then at the very back, um, kind of Christmas list presents and Christmas card lists. And then here I've got all stuck together because I haven't kind of used them properly. I've done some sheets for tutorials and YouTube and my blog and reviews of things. I need to fill that in because I've done quite a lot of stuff. I just haven't uploaded or finished editing most of it because I've been off sick pretty much for the last four weeks with a whole load of yuckiness. Anyway, I, I need to catch up with myself. And then as before, uh, when that lot finishes, I've got my internet addresses and posting and my wish list, my YouTube, and then here another divider, and this is all the ebooks that I have. Um, I think I've shown you this before, but this is in. I get really annoyed when I don't know what to read next in a kind of uh, set of books. So these are chronological um, by author. Uh, the ebooks that I've got on my nook at the moment, and some films, and then a bit of um, blank paper. And then I was practicing on the big white paper that I like to use with the stamps. But this this paper here, this wonderful graph paper, um, I got this from the lovely Mary again. She's just a star. She knows me so well. I can't tell you how much I love this stuff. Um, it's a dotted grid pattern and it is just heaven on earth. I think it's from Daiso. Also what's really great is it's perforated. Um, so if I want to just write a note I can rip it off and give it to somebody and it still do not have to have all the holes in it. Anyway, it's just wonderful and I love it. So anyway, at the back of that... Um, I've got some more bigger paper for bigger notes and then I've got a really fab um, pull out calendar for the year. I got this from another non-plannery website actually. I think it's called something like calendaropedia.com. I will again put the link below. But anyway, there's a year planner. I liked it because it was in colour and I printed it off at work. Um, because I haven't got any colour. I've lost, I've run out of um, colour ink for my printer. And you know what? I'm just going to do without. If I can print it at work, fabulous. But if I can't print it at work, it's not urgent and I don't need it. But while I was at work, I also printed out these, which I originally put in my A5 for next year. Um, but I decided to put in here. And these are dates to remember sheets, January and February. And all I'm doing on them is... I've I've cut, I've trimmed them down quite a lot. Obviously, if you think that they were probably, I think, for eight and a half by eleven, um, and I've just folded them in half. So I've got January, February, March, April, May, June. You know, you know what the months of the year are. Um, and I've just got birthdays, weddings, stuff that I'm doing this coming year in there now, and then it means that I only have to mark with little little tiny stickers on the actual calendar what I'm doing and then I've got a lovely pocket from uh, Mary as well which has got some fabulous Daiso transparent stickers in it um, I will have to redo um, my my Mary rack video I was really poorly and sick and just useless but anyway um, then I've got a little colour code um, guide here um, from, uh, this is the DIY fish insert idea, the indexing idea, which I really, really like. Um, and then a little zip up thing for my money. And uh, this will come in useful next time. I'm going to put my lessons on here, um, just my teaching lessons um, in there. And then I've got money in the pocket here. So that's my setup for my personal planner at the moment and as you can see I'm using this indexing setup here um, those are my colors and if you can flip through you can 
can see uh, where I've got household and financial and I've got nerdy I saw a recipe in there recipes are right at the bottom in black um, here I really like this indexing system I really 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 like it um, I downloaded um, fishes one month I think I got I got bought the December uh, download just to see what it was like for the planner um, and I was thinking about printing it all out and everything but the point is that my because I'm a teacher my year is never constant or consistent I have terms when I'm busy I have times when I'm on holiday that whole kind of fold out fold out planny 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 I don't need because as far as my life is concerned my life can fit in here quite easily just on um, a day per page and a weekly planner and then a kind of much more condensed annual view I don't need month by month by month um, because I can pretty much see it on here. Having said that, I'm probably going to draw out a um, month on two pages at some point, like I used to do. But this is my idea, is I'm just going a lot more, use what you've got. Um, I love the indexing idea, and I'm sticking to it. Um, I think this is going to be fantastic. The categories I've chosen, I've got work, I've got a blank category here that I'm saving. Um, ideas, nerdy, YouTube and blog household wish lists which is actually any kind of list um, finance and then recipes so yeah this is my setup with my lovely personal planner the good thing about not having a whole year's worth of inserts in here is that I'm not overstuffing him um, he's looking quite spelt actually it means that I can get a pen in the pen loop I can get uh, a coletto in the rings and I can get another coletto just clipped on the strap there and it all fits very nicely and that to me is pretty much planner heaven so yeah I'm giving the personal side a jingle bell go and um, I'll report back I'm going to try it for this month so I go back to work on the 6th of January, so I'm going to try it till the end of January. It does mean that I will be using two planners, um, because I'll be using my work planner for my teaching, and then I'll be using my personal planner, which will be, this will now be my uh, wallet during the week. So I've got my personal stuff with me, um, and this will continue to be my wallet when I'm out and about at the weekends, things like that. It will just be my wallet. I'm going to take all this paper out. I don't need it. I can't plan or do anything really on this tiny, tiny paper. As I said, I'm not a chipmunk. So I'm just going to put it back to being a wallet. Um, and then I'll get more use out of it, really. So there we go. Um, I hope that was interesting. I don't know. I bored myself senseless, frankly. But anyway, I will be back with um, a bit more in depth of how my teaching um, planner is working. And as I said, I'll do a review of how my kind of weekly come daily pages are working out whether uh, I have to fiddle about a bit um, I like using the stamps but they annoy me a bit because it does take time <coughs> you know <coughs> it is a lot quicker to print things but I'm giving it a go and it will evolve I'm sure um, but I'm at the moment I'm rather liking it and I like the fact that it's you know it is much more portable than the A5. I know I'm an A5 girl. For God's sake, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight A5s all in use for different things. But I don't have an A5 on the go um, when I'm not teaching. I have no excuse for it. So welcome to the world of the personal size finer facts. Oh, my God. The good thing is that I have no desire, really, for any other model. Spring Green is, is where I've finished on my whole searching for heaven. Um, I like it, it's me, and um, there we go. So anyway, I'll be in touch soon. Thank you very much.